Hey guys, Token Vaping, um, employed with Pacific Vapes. Today, as you can tell by this really cool logo t-shirt, um, this is an update to uh, Halo E6. Um, they were gracious enough to previously allow me to do a review on their um, original line. Um, they have done a couple of updates and a couple of changes and they have reached out to me and asked me to redo another video. Um, talking about uh, the changes on them and to uh, explain what's going on and things like that. So um, I am really, really, really honored and blessed that they reached back out to me to say, hey, we like what you did the first time. You know, we did a couple of changes. This is what we're doing. And we'd like you to redo another another one for us. So again, Halo e thank you for the shirt. Hope you like this one as well. Now, just a quick rundown on um, Halo e themselves. Uh, it was born from uh, three guys originally from Jersey in uh, 09 um, got together and basically uh, powwowed did a, a power a power launch um, basically just trying to figure out you know um, what can we do that's going to be different what can we do that's going to make um, our juice or our company stand apart um, basically what's going to make our brand unique and different um, and what they came up with um, if you did uh, were able to check out my original video, what they came up with is a line that is primarily centered around tobacco and menthol flavored uh, liquids, which is not a common uh, common field in the industry right now, mainly because you know everybody's trying to quit smoking, so they don't want to focus back on the tobacco and menthol flavors, so they're worried that it'll cause them to go back to uh, cigarettes instead of staying with vaping. Um, Halo e basically has taken that step and ensured that they have come up with something, um, you know, that isn't automatically going to make you want to jump right back into cigarettes, but it still makes you have that feel as if you are um, still using a cigarette. Um, it's, it's impressive that they've been able to do something that unique when it comes to um, e-juices just because you know again it's not something that is commonly done by a lot of companies um, this company is based in Florida now I believe um, but um, uh, they've had uh, six I believe if it was six flavors that won uh, various uh, spin fuel choice awards which is a really big honor in the vaping industry so you know again uh, definitely hats off to them for that and that is impressive um, most of their uh, most of their flavors again they do run in a 0, 0612 1824 uh, nicotine level um, and they also do three now as well um, and then you can buy uh, various uh, size bottles off their website which is halo um, and they run a plethora of different uh, juices on there um, new devices now that they they have debuted um, starter kits and uh, and swag like like this as well so um, definitely check that site out um, it has got a major amount of information as far as um, about the company behind the scenes what they do what they what they um, put forth as effort wise into ensuring that what they're putting out on the market is as a highest quality top grade um, you know uh, as near to the, the it's hard to it's hard to say. I don't want to say perfect because you know nothing in this world is perfect and it's a pretty high standard to live up to. But they ensure that their product is as top of the line quality as a possibly allowed by um, the vaping world and and different uh, behind the scenes. For instance, uh, they do they make sure that um, their nicotine concentration is tested by um, an HPLC, which is a high performance liquid chromatography um, and nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy um, to ensure the safety to their customers. Um, they basically are stating that, um, you know, what they're using in, in their juices, whether it's the nicotine, whether it's the VG, whether it's the PG, whatever, that it is as high quality grade as possible so to ensure that um, us as vapors, uh, we're not getting, um, you know, processed crap basically, or fake fake stuff in in uh, the the e-liquids and chemicals that are harmful to our bodies that are going to basically completely you know go against the whole point of why we support vaping the way that we do. Um, they also make sure that 
all their flavorings consist of flavor and extract manufacturing association approved food additives, um, which also is further screened to exclude diacetyl and acetylpropionyl. Uh, propionyl. Um, they're basically both two chemicals that are causing a big stir in the vaping community now. Um, Halo SIGs basically goes through all of the steps to make sure that um, their, their, chemi their juices are free of all of these chemicals. And if there is any found whatsoever, it is such a minute percentage that your body would never even know it's there, if at all. Um, there is a good manufacturing practices, which I have mentioned before in, in other companies are following this as well, basically is just a standard among industries um, as far as to what is considered proper manufacturing processes in their facilities and everything else. Um, their Gainesville, uh, Florida state of the art uh, facility does follow this as well. Um, they also have trained chemists, which I think is pretty impressive to ensure this. Now, with all, with all that said and done, you know, uh, they're, they're, the the proof is in their product. You know, they're not a small overnight company. They're not a, uh, uh, you know, a, a 10 square foot little closet shop that basically has like one, one item that they sell. I mean, they are a pretty big deal. Um, anybody that, you know, vapes or is involved in vaping has heard of them, has used them, has dealt with them, um, things of that nature. They have uh, basically... As far as for the update, they have started um, two new uh, devices for um, vaping. Uh, one is a tracer starter kit and the other is a reactor starter kit. Now the tracer starter kit basically looks like a giant version of, you know, the CVV, uh, W, the variable vo voltage or variable wattage uh, battery pens that everybody, you know, back in the day used to start on and you had the dial on the bottom that twisted the different power settings. Um, it basically is just a big, a big, bigger looking version of that with a tank on it, which is uh, their a new addition um, that they have it together as a kit. Um, that is the the tracer. The reactor now is the one that I was really interested in. Um, there are some other people out there that got the opportunity to review them. I'm hoping that I am able to try one myself here shortly. Um, but it basically is a small, um, compact. Uh, variable wattage device um, that comes with the tank. It comes as a kit. Um, I believe it retails on their site for like $70. Uh, but it is pretty cool looking. Um, it's it's definitely, it definitely looks pretty solid. As I said, I haven't had the opportunity to, tr to try one yet. I'm hoping that, that that is a possibility in the future for myself. Um, the update that they have done to their juices, however, is to benefit um, the usage of these new devices as well is that um, they've taken their juices and have made a V-line, which is basically just um, they've taken flavors that they already currently have, some of the more popular ones, and they have um, upgraded the juice, so to speak. Um, this is basically kind of what the new labels and stuff look like. They are all foil and shiny. I don't know if you can see that um, all that great. I apologize for the glare. Um, but it is their their halo logo it does have a shiny new foil um they have changed this and they have up the the vg and lowered the pg and these, these are now a 70 30 uh, ratio mix um so that you can benefit most from um from the use of the new tracer and the reactor kits um they have definitely they have not they have not in any way shape or form short shorted you at all on the flavor um the one thing that I liked most about um, this brand when I did the original post is these they, on the back, if you can see right there, they have a best buy date and they have a lot code date. So not only do they give you a rough idea of when um, these are used best buy or when uh, they hit a point to where they're not as potent as they are when they first come out of the facility, but they also have a lot code uh, date uh, batch code on them, which also basically tells you what batch um, that they came out of. So God forbid if you ever came across one that gave you any problems, they would be able to trace directly back to what lot and batch that that came from so they can find out if there was a, 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 an issue or something that was going on with that or if it just, you know, unfortunately is just one of those weird uh, oddball ones that kind of slip through and 
and is there. Now, the main thing, um, two of the flavors that they get that they gave me were the same that I did on my original view. One is a Belgian cocoa, which is um, cocoa and sweet chocolate. Um, and the other one was the Mal, uh, not the Malibu, the Kringles Curse, which basically tastes like a candy cane. Um, that's more of the menthol feel for people. And the Belgian cocoa was definitely, it definitely is a dark, heavy chocolate uh, uh, flavor with uh, with a little bit of a, of a cooling menthol kick to that. Um, check out my original video for the flavor profile on those ones. Um, honestly, they didn't change a whole lot. They are a lot more... Uh, about the main two things that changed is the throat kick isn't as high now because they are a 70-30 mix, which is very nice actually for the original line because I'm not a huge tobacco or menthol person. Um, it was a bit harsh for me, uh, but the one thing that has impressed me the most with this new upgrade to this line is that the throw kick harshness has been mellowed out a lot. The one that I want to do for this video is the Malibu because I'm curious to see if changing the ratio of this to to accommodate uh, sub ohm tanking um, has changed the the taste and uh, made it to where it's more um, it's more about the the tobacco or menthol aspect of it than it is the the flavor. So give me a second here. Let me drip this in. And as I said, I haven't had the opportunity to try any of the devices yet. So I'm hoping that that does change. Whoops. And uh, I can do a review on that as well. So as of right now, I'm going to use this on my Segeli, which, again, as you all watch, I do use on a 60, 60 watt. So Halo E6 on the 7030 uh, upgraded VG, VG line. Nice cloud production. Again. A lot, a lot less throw kick. I mean, I barely felt one on that. Um, flavor is definitely still there. It does have a very uh, tropical taste to it, but it does have that menthol backflow. Um, so for those of you that are looking for, uh, you know, the tobacco flavor, uh, the menthol flavored, um, things like that, if you've tried Halo before, you know how good of a line it is when it comes to that type of flavor. If you are into tobacco or menthol at all, I have yet to find any any other flavor on the market right now that is as dead on solid as these are, especially accommodating that that field. Um, they are they are one of the better companies out there that are handling this type of flavor. Definitely, definitely nice clouds. Um, I like this line more over than the other one, obviously, because they put more VG in this. I can actually vape these ones. Um, I had a hard time with the original line, again, just because I'm not a tobacco or menthol person, not because there was the, the juice was bad. It just was not my field or my area that I choose. However, these ones I can actually vape co more comfortably. Again, I don't think it's going to be my all-day vape choice. However, I can actually enjoy them a little bit more than I did uh, with the previous line. But if you do like tobacco or menthol at all, I mean even just a slight bit, you most definitely need to try this line. I guarantee one of these is definitely going to become an all-day vape for you. Um, Absolutely. There is a light menthol. I mean, even the menthol on this one is not as strong as originally when I first tried this flavor. Um, it has a cooling feel on the on the backflow of it um, so that there is an, a, a, an undertone of menthol. You do get that citrusy, that tropical citrusy uh, taste to it. Um, total, total difference in the throat kick. I mean, completely different. Um, overall, and very impressive update to this line. I mean, they're making this to accommodate, like I said, their new uh, 
uh, sub ohm devices for the tanks um, for sub ohm vaping basically definite definite positive influence um, improvement sorry not influence um, great improvement uh, this line now absolutely just is that much better I mean even again even if you are not a tobacco menthol person or if you very sometimes um, lean towards that flavor definitely give this line a, a, a try um, if your shop is looking for a line to accommodate tobacco or menthol for those customers out there that like that specific flavor trust me you cannot go wrong with this line at all um, it is a, a definite uh, seller for that field um, again it is it is an update from their previous line they have not stopped the other ones um, they still do offer them um, but along with their newer devices and uh, for those of you who do like the more of the sub ohm vaping um, they offer this version of it to better accommodate that and I'm telling you it is a very nice improvement so again Halo e -cigs, thank you very much for the uh, for the chance to do this update um, I definitely hope that that this line definitely gives you the the uh the productivity that it definitely is capable of um vapors i'm telling you give this a shot um, unless you completely do not like tobacco or menthol you will find this to be very very enjoyable whether you do it as an all-day vape or just a, a random you know here or there or sometimes vape you won't go wrong either way shops if you haven't tried this line yet reach out to Halo e Sigs, ask them to uh, send you a couple of samples, give it a shot. It definitely will sell. Um, pretty much anywhere that there are vapors, there's going to be at least a small group of ones that do prefer the tobacco menthol. You definitely will. It's a guaranteed sell as long as um, they have a shot to try it. So definitely reach out to Halo e Sigs. Again, guys, I am so blessed. I enjoyed being able to do this every day that I am still able to do this. Um, Halo E6, thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the reach out to redo this for you guys. Um, vapors, definitely, you know, stand by the vaping community, support it, reach out and, um, you know, let the voices be heard. We need to keep fighting and standing by our, our rights as vapors. Um, until next time, Token Vaping, employed with uh, Pacific Vapes, I can be reached at tokenvaping at gmail.com. Um, here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. If there's anything you want to you want known, anything you want to find out about, anything you have questions about, hit me up. Let me know. I will do what I can um, to reach out to those companies and see how I can help further uh, vapors and and the community as a whole understand better what's out there for them, uh, what's behind it, the different companies and what they're doing to help make vaping um, a much better alternative. Um, until next time, guys. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good night.